One of the topics that uh, we are working on in the University of Hong Kong, I uh, represent a team of people uh, in the University of Hong Kong to speak about a part of our project to find a way to um, find how using computer um, technologies to try to characterize the, the censorship issues, the key, uh, message, the elitist message in, on Xinjiang Wei in, in China. So let me just uh, give you a, this is the general uh, pictures of our project. We, I, I have a fancy name called um, uh, Wei Boss. It's a project name about, uh, about us. We are making use of um, computer programming and some making use of the API provided by the uh, Xinjiang Weibo. And we develop a program uh, in our department internally. And um, we, create, uh, we have a server, we create a program, and we regularly downloading and collecting Xinjiang Weibo data from the Xinjiang Weibo server. So we are now gathering a list of 300,000 accounts uh, of people who has um, fe uh, followers more than thousand. That means uh, most of the uh, this kind of account, uh, three hundred thousand account we are following, are those people who have fans account, a lot of fans account. So they are very different in terms of this guy. Uh, so we are collecting this guy data regularly and download it at the timeline from the uh, from the server. Yeah, installed in our home server. That means we. We, we have a copy. We have keep copy in our, our server. So why, uh, actually, this, as I said, this is a one part of our study. And actually, last year, I, uh, in the same conference, already present one of the uh, presentations to look at how the um, Xinjiang Weibo um, related to some public instance. So uh, I take one of the um, example of the Xin Yun Kui instant and uh, present the paper. This is last year. But to this year, I want to make a uh, step forward and I want to analyze um, those delete message in, in China. So as you all know, there's a very sophisticated system in China uh, to do the keyword, sensitive keyword filter. So we all understand if you type Shun uh, you type uh, Fa Rukum, you type uh, Dalai Lama, you can't find out anything yeah. in the search engine and also uh, Sinan Weibo search engine. But that's why, because uh, they have the, some sensor keyword list to, to find out, they can delete, uh, they can detect this kind of keyword and just filter it. But we all understand now, people starting to become more and more creative. They want to bipartisan system that they create words, create sensitive keywords. That try to bypass the system. Okay, I'll just give you an example. This is an example I tried two weeks ago. So I typed Si Hong Si Hong Si Hong Si This actually means, literally means uh, tomato. I, I think you allow it. Can you hear it? Can you audience hear it? I hate for my I, yeah, okay. <laughs> That means uh, tomatoes. So you type it. And then it turns out, you find out, are talking to the relevant roles, regulation, uh, the tomato, search and <laughs> result, or not so. That means you can't, you want to find out that oh, there's a kind of healthy food, you want to find out more the other, two weeks ago or three weeks before, you try to type this one, you can't do it. Because at that moment, a, a very special timing, and the, under that context, that work becomes very sensitive. I will tell you why uh, in a couple of minutes. Later, but that's one the, uh, point. Of, this is my point. Mean we can't if we want to analyze this kind of the sensitive keywords. We can't just based on a preset um, keywords. We can't just look at June four. We just can't just look at part of We need to be become more data driven. Bottom up, we need to look at what actual data people make you use making use of in in the in the real, real life. And then we make use of this uh, bottom up phone to find out this kind of keyword. That's why we have the system. Um, we develop a page um, based on our regular data collection from uh, our set of people, 300,000 uh, 300, um, 
uh, Khan and create a page. Uh, let me show you uh, my page. This is now, right now. Um, it's live. Um, I, this is how I have an update of all those um, messages we find out uh, we delete, not disappear in the timeline. So actually you can find out, if you can read, um, you can find out some of the issues that some people they, they think that's very sensitive, that they want to delete it or some, some, they don't want people to read it. And the system, we can also um, um, click on it. So you can click on it. If you want to know more about it, you can have more details about that post. Uh, we know the time of post on the tape, and we also last seen alive, and then when we de when we detect it disappeared. So we have the timing, and we we find out um, actually um, what this kind of data we have. So you may ask, oh, how how can you do this? So um, let me show you. So the mechanism is something like this. So because as we regularly keep on keep downloading the data, the, the timeline from each account, so we have a list of all these numbers. This number represents one message. Each message has a uh, unique uh, ID number. So we download. Um, a list of this kind of message, and after a while, we, because we do it regularly, so next time when we download the same uh, message, and then we detect some of the message uh, uh, were missing, that's disappeared. That we found there's a very suspicious, suspicious that may be, uh, be deleted by somebody. So, um, this is the timeline I try to. Um, Explain more details. Okay, for example, a post is made hit on hit now. So this is what we are doing to do the regular um, data collection at this time, this time, this time. Okay, for example, that <coughs> is delete at this, this point in time. So that means at this point in time, we got the copy. We got a copy of that message and stored in our server. But after this while, to the next. Uh, regular check, we find out, oh, that one disappeared. We get detected this time. So then we mark it, and then we um, claim and mark it as those deleted message based on this, um, this. But as you know, this is not perfect. This is not perfect. That means if our regular check is not as regular as we can, that is a why enough. That means if a post is made here, and also delete within that interval. That I have no way to discover, uh, recover this kind of message. So that means um, if we want to improve our system, we make this time uh, division short. Then we uh, technically mean we are get a better system to more effectively to recover all this information. So this is what um, we are doing now. So um, and also you you also may argue you oh, a message is a feed doesn't mean uh, uh, it is sense. It may represent people just what is deleted by himself or herself. People just delete their own message. So we found out some of the way try to we can distinguish this kind two kind of message. So when we find out those are uh, message, we get some error message because that one disappeared. We uh, ask. Uh, from the server to download that data, and then you find out this. Uh, there are two kinds of uh, error message. One is called wait, what doesn't exist, and other called permission denied. So we we based on our experience, we uh, try and error. We find out most of the data seems to be uh, not uh, de or, uh, deleted by the provider. Uh, we can get the uh, permission denied uh, error message. So based on this assumption. So we can make use of this um, mechanism where we can um, detect uh, a lot of this kind of um, um, message uh, from this uh, system. So just give you an example. This is a mechanism. So let's give you an example how, how it works. 
So this is uh, one of the example um, three weeks ago, I think, is uh, about Chenpong. And um, there's um, a lot of um, newspaper in Beijing um, criticizing the role of Americans um, in this um, incident. So, but it's turned out um, um, in quite a lot of criticism from uh, Xinjiang Weibo. There's a lot of people um, criticizing the, the, the argument uh, made by the uh, editorial. So they criticizing the Beijing uh, Daily uh, there's a lot of this editorial, and um, our system can detect this uh, kinds of um, message based on the system, and this is what we get from our system. So we detect this post uh, made by this user uh, post on the date um, May fifth of four, and last seen at the time. Last seen means the. the the, the last previous data download at, uh, from our server at the time, and then deleted um, sometime later. So we, we, we can actually, we can recover, you can say recover some of these direct message from the um, Sinai Weibo. And also we have another example on the same similar issue. So. Um, that's ex exactly what we, we found out um, from uh, our system. So, um, oh, actually, this is another interesting thing because at that time, because th this kind of comment related to uh, Beijing, Beijing, you about this uh, Beijing date. So, during that period of time, even you type in uh, Beijing daily, you can't, you, you, you can't uh, search for this information. You can't, um, uh, the thing uh, that you, uh, you can't uh, display. So, um, for this, just a, another example, just pe and people just want to circulate that uh, particular um, a tutorial. It's turned out also uh, censored, was censored by the um, by the authorities. And also, our system how to detect this kind of uh, things um, right after. Okay, that's another example. Um, basically, um, a lot of people believe um, now the censorship used by the Chinese government make use of sensitive keyword. That means they are detecting keyword that related to a particular topic, then uh, you censor. But I want to give you an example here, uh, made by one of the blogger, famous blogger in China, and it's actually is a comment on um, Chen Gongchen incident. But you can't find any sensor keyword in his <coughs> remark. It's just a very general comment about why a Chinese citizen, Chinese citizen, a uh, Chinese citizen, why he need to hide within the whole country and he need to be escaped and follow, uh, they need, why, why they need to be uh, within their own country, they need to do time, uh, of, and, and they want to go to another country. So there's a very general comment. It doesn't touch on very specific keyword, American, um, uh, Chen Gong uh, some uh, that, that, that doesn't touch on all these kind of topics. It's a very general comment. But it was deleted. This was censored by the government. But um, if you just base on censored keyword, to find out this kind of uh, message, we can't do it. But our system, because based on our design, we can we did, uh, recover this kind of uh, message from the, the uh, from Zinawe. So this is one of the uh, example, and also we can do further analysis. For example, for this um, message, we can uh, detect the time trend once. Uh, this poll, uh, this message uh, was posted um, on the uh, 2nd of May, and after almost less than 20 hours, uh, we find out that go down to zero. Three more minutes, okay. So that we can provide a time trend, and also we can identify those people involving in the whole set of reports. 
And also we can visualize the, all this kind of reports using this kind of graph. And uh, each node represent a end user, user. And the arrow represent a report. That means there's a from here to there, that means this guy reposing his um, message. So we can do, make uh, based on this kind of system, we can visualize all these kinds of uh, reports uh, in terms of we can also identify those people involved in, in the whole process. And actually I have another animation, but I can't show it now because run out of time and also run out of memory. And, <laughs> and um, this is the last part of my uh, presentation is, okay, now I, I have collected a last set of this kind of message. Uh, delete the message. So I want to make it more analytical and comparative. So I get a sample of uh, 12,000, uh, just cause permission deleted post. And I randomly select another 12,000 message from our system. That, but this, this, those kind of uh, posts are exist. That not, uh, not deleted. So we can do a comparison, the two groups of um, uh, data. So we do the Chinese word segmentation and also remove all these kind of uh, stop words. And then we can calculate uh, the deletion rate. We will call it deletion rate. Means the ratio of those words um, uh, found in the deleted message. Uh, so so you turn out, you find out, oh, these kind of words um, actually very close to one. That means Totally busy. Totally busy. That means all we can find um, Chen Guangcheng uh, in the uh, deleted archive. And if you talk about the Si Hong, Si Hong Si, sorry, Si Hong Si, it's turned it got a um, tomato. Yeah, you got um, sixty percent. That means um, it's not totally busy. We can find some uh, this kind of uh, message so far in the system. So um, that represents something. That, and let me just um, give you, I put in a graph, the y-axis represent that deleted rate, deletion rate, and the x-axis represent the frequency. So we find out those um, sensitive keywords um, <coughs> representing the names of the issues. It's called a very code to one. That means totally delete. But we can find out some of the thing referring to some of the leader, some of the people involved, that you get a higher survival rate. This is um, for, uh, data to show our uh, um, analysis. Okay, go to the last, this is the last one. Okay, that's the last one. So, yeah, th we, we, we did some, this kind of experiment to try to make sense of the data. But, uh, okay, what is the thing we, uh, plan to do in the future. So we want to make the system more effective to more get more related data. As I said, it is not perfect now. Secondly, we are thinking how we can make use of this kind of idea to contribute to the data, uh, the news gathering process for, for journalists. How we can help them to identify hot news from those uh, deleted uh, messages. Thirdly, um, we are thinking how we can make use of this data to contribute to the academic community, how to make it open for other researchers to make use of, and test and theory, and doing more academic research. And finally, we, we need to think about the funding issue, because this project is just funded by a small grant in Hong Kong, so we need to think for future how to make it so far. Okay, thank you very much.